Hi, welcome to my Hurricane Sandy boat. I got this day sailor for 450 bucks in 2016. And I fixed the centerboard and did a couple of repairs. But it was always leaking water and this year it started leaking a lot. And then the centerboard cable broke. So I hauled it out and started working on the rot. This boat was a salvage from Long Island during Hurricane Sandy and I talked to the guy who did the repair and he and his father uh, did this on the beach. They put a huge blister repair on here and I'm sorry I didn't take pictures of it before I dug it apart but you can see some of the thickness here. How thick that is and it's really pretty thin. The DS2 is really, I don't know, kind of a crappy boat. But um, they put a huge slab repair, just slapped a whole bunch of fiberglass on this thing and tried to tighten it up. And I tried to grind it away, but as I was grinding along the edges, water kept seeping out. So yesterday I got frustrated and I took the saws all to it and I cut some huge pieces out. And it had flotation foam in there. Some of it just turned to crap. Some down that way, some over here. And my plan is to cut a little bit more back over here because like you can see right there is, is one of the splits. So cut it all the fiberglass repair out. I'm gonna cut around the mast step right here out and build this back in with 3 8 marine plywood. Uh, it's, the plywood's going to um, be overlapped by the fiberglass. It's going to be held in place with screws, temporary screws, all the way around the edge. And held in place, the initial part is going to be held in with uh, thickened epoxy. And once that sets up, then I'll feather these edges. Uh, it'll, it'll overlap like two inches. Then I'll feather the edges and um, build it back up with fiberglass resin and cloth, uh, epoxy resin I should say, and the cloth material is a woven uh, and oriented strand which would be called 4700. Here's another repair around the centerboard trunk. It was cracked pretty bad so it was taking on about about 15 to 20 gallons in like three hours so it had to be fixed anyway i'll back, be back at you okay so here's my plan this is 3 8 marine plywood and this is scrim foam used in upholstery work um, i did an experiment yesterday where I took some upholstery foam, the same material but in a thicker piece, and I put some plywood together with it. I soaked this in a little uh, epoxy resin, and I put a weight on it, and I put uh, two pieces of plywood out of the garbage can together. And it's hard as a rock. This is foam. It'll take up irregularities. I put it on crooked so that to show that, and. The plywood here sucked some of the resin out, so it's a little bit soft right there, but only a little bit on the surface. It gets rock hard underneath. And I think that's a good plan. So I'm going to wet this. I'll get this wet with epoxy. Not too wet. Slip this underneath the mast, um, whatever you call that, and then slide this in on top of it. And this will take up all these irregularities and it will weld this on here so tight it will never move. I don't even have to worry about putting screws on the other side or maybe a couple and then um, I'll tab this in with fiberglass uh, however I want and uh, that will be that. That will be done. Um, probably stronger than new because if this was pressure treated, I mean not pressure treated, if it was marine, uh, would it have rotted out? Don't know. And I got more rotten wood over here. So you're not going to see this because I'm not touching my camera with uh, resin on my fingers. So I'll show you when I'm done.
had it back. Now it's this afternoon and it's starting to take a really nice shape. Kind of pleased. It's got a nice roundedness to it. And I'll hit it with the DA again. And then I'll work these pinholes out. I was hoping to get my 1708 fabric and cover this one more time with one more layer. But I don't think I'm gonna. It's like uh, very close and it's very strong already. Um, I could beat this thing. It's uh, 3 8 marine plywood, mahogany marine plywood. Um, underlapping the fiberglass by two inches all the way around the entire patch. And it's glassed in with uh, epoxy resin and thickso. So it's in there really good. It would take uh, a lot of pressure to pull this thing apart. Um, I may put some more glass right across the keel here just to build this up a little bit because there is a little dip. But um, I'm mostly worried about the shape. And the shape is really nice. I'm not too worried about the... Uh, the plywood lines in fact that might look kind of cool having that there but i think those are going to disappear too anyway back at it
daily grit. Go through a lot of paper and I'm starting to run low. I have more coming though.